Hi, I'm Rick Steves. This fall is one of those falls when we have a brand new slate of Rick Steves Europe shows. These 13 new programs cover some of Europe's greatest cities like Barcelona, Vienna, Copenhagen, and Athens, but also visit a world of fascinating places in between. We explore the French countryside of Burgundy and Dordogne. Virtually unknown attractions in the Czech Republic outside of Prague, the Catalonian seaside, and gorgeous stretches of the Danube River. One of our new shows comes down from the Alps for a visit to the great Swiss cities. A show called Little Europe takes a tour of the continent's micro-countries like Liechtenstein, San Marino, and the Vatican. Here's just a brief taste of what's coming up. From this lofty perch, San Marino soldiers have defended their homeland with the latest in military technology. Ever since a key victory in the 15th century, the crossbowmen of San Marino have been a part of state celebrations. Traditionally, this forced the marksmen to stay sharp and keep their crossbows in good working order. While today it's mostly an excuse to show off for tourists, their sport is still taken seriously. The marksmen hit their target with armor-piercing force and the pride of a nation with a long, if not mighty, heritage. As if celebrating their bullseyes, the San Marino Crossbowman Federation enlivens their mountaintop republic with traditional fanfare. San Marino takes you back to an age of city-states, an era of pageantry, pride, and fierce independence. Whether you're cruising in a big full-service luxury barge or a small captain-it-yourself boat, the basic experience is the same. A lazy glide by pastoral seas. This time I'm joined by my friend and co-author of my France guidebook, my favorite Francophile, Steve Smith. <laughs> I love slowing down. Cruising is the best way to see Burgundy. It forces you to slow down. And Steve's family is hitching a ride too as we learn how the French, who invented our modern concept of a vacation, are on to something good with barging. Oh my. The canal side lane, built as an industrial age towpath, is ideal for jogging, strolling, or biking. Boats come with bikes, and the pace is relaxing enough to allow for excursions. This was just a brief sampling of what will be available in the fall. We'll have new programs ranging from the tip of Denmark to the Bosporus Strait in Istanbul. We'll continue to do what we've always done best, getting off the beaten path, appreciating Europe by understanding its great history and art, the stinkiest cheese in the whole country. And seeing it through the eyes of local experts, Europeans who live and work in the places we visit. It needs to suffer to produce grapes of character. We'll continue to experience Europe's unique traditions, but also keep up with contemporary Europe on a continent that's constantly evolving and becoming more exciting than ever to visit. Join us for a new season of Rick Steves Europe.